I'm a renter, I'm a climate activist, and I'm a Torontonian. With the Canadian election coming up early next week, I want to share two campaign ads that impressed me. So one is from an NDP candidate and one is from a Green candidate. Now, what you'll notice in both of these ads, but done a little differently, is that they both represent the interests of real people. So this first ad I'm going to show you here is uh, Diana Yoon. She is the federal NDP candidate for Spadina, Fort York, and she's a climate justice activist and community organizer. And this ad, I think, is fantastic. Hi, I'm Diana Yoon. We're filming our campaign video, so uh, stay tuned and I'll take you along the journey. My parents and I immigrated to Canada when I was four years old. I was often reminded of the sacrifices they had made in hopes of a brighter future. And yet, for our family, my friends, and our neighbors, the future doesn't look so bright. I've lived in apartments with bed bugs and leaky ceilings, while developers profit off luxury condos. People like you and me, we struggle to find an affordable place to live downtown. It's so hard to find anywhere mm -hmm. that's affordable. Yeah. It's really easy to get turfed out of your place by your landlord. Yeah. You know, that's a basic human right, right? Like housing should be a basic human right. We worry about the rising cost of living while the wealthiest don't pay their fair share. And how can the federal government pay $5 billion on a pipeline when so many of us struggle to pay for the childcare, tuition, and medicine we need? We need an equitable and just transition to a low carbon future that won't leave workers and families behind. I've dedicated my entire life to fighting the climate crisis, and I cannot stand by and pretend that incremental change is enough. I'm a renter, I'm a climate activist, and I'm a Torontonian. I'm running to be your next NDP Member of Parliament for Spadina Fort York. My name is Diana Yoon, and I'm on your side. So I thought that ad was fantastic. And you know, for Americans out there, for those that uh, follow American politics, I get very much uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez vibes off of that ad, because this is somebody who is a real person, someone who lives the life of an average person in Toronto, experiences, you know, the horrible living conditions many renters have to live under, um, and, and not to mention the high cost of living uh, as well. So this is very different from the usual, you know, corporate lawyers <laughs> that we see the conservatives and the liberals usually put up. This is somebody who is a real person, a climate activist, a community organizer, is engaged in their community and really looks to better the lives of everyone around them. So uh, I thought that ad was fantastic. This next one I want to show you, um, this is uh, Chris Tolley. He's a green candidate for Toronto uh, Danforth. He's also a co-host and co-producer of Play Me on CBC. So he's a writer, director and producer. And you're going to see some of that because this is sort of a different take, though much in the same spirit, but a different take in terms of this is actually a funny <laughs> campaign ad. Hi, I'm Chris Tolley, your Green Party candidate in Toronto, Danforth. I'm sorry, I don't see myself voting for a one-issue party. Oh, but we're anything but a one-issue party. True, we've always led the way on the environment, but we also have a strong economic plan that will help create jobs and build the economy. Projections estimate that over 4 million jobs will be created with our retrofit program alone. We're also dedicated to universal pharmacare, universal daycare, and investing in our future with universal post-secondary education. Did you know that a guaranteed livable income has been proven to reduce poverty and homelessness and save money on the healthcare system and social services? And it's all been fully costed by the Parliamentary Budget Office. So when we say we can afford these programs, we can. We will reform the tax code to enforce corporate taxes on transnational e-commerce businesses. Did you know that Google, Facebook, and Netflix pay virtually no taxes at all? We're also vigorously defending Indigenous rights, women's rights, the rights to free and accessible abortion, LGBTQ rights, rights for new Canadians, rights and the best way to address all these issues is through electoral reform. Proportional representation will be a massive shift in power so that Parliament reflects the people. You can get more information at vote2019.ca. So, now do you see that we're not just a one-issue party? Yes, you've made that pretty clear. Can I count on your vote on October 21st? You know what? Yeah, you can. One down, 
39,000 more doors to go. This October 21st, vote green. Vote Chris Tolley for Toronto Danforth. So clearly a different take on a campaign ad than the first one, but I thought it was effective. Oftentimes, comedy is the best way to really um, inform people, especially on politics. A lot of this stuff can be dry and it can be hard to really uh, get people informed with just your typical messaging. But if you encapsulate that within, you know, some comedy, then it's an easier pill to swallow. So in this case, I think uh, Chris Tully did a great job here at informing uh, voters in his writing on what he stands for. So two great ads here, two people that are standing up uh, for average voters. This is an election where you should vote for who you want to vote for, because we're heading towards a very likely a minority government, likely liberal, but could be conservative. But you've had the NDP leader Jagmeet Singh say that he is open or would be supportive of a coalition if conservatives win the most seats. So Trudeau has been a little less clear. He has kind of not answered the question, but that also kind of tells me he would be open to a coalition. He just doesn't want to uh, influence voters away from liberals, because if he says, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll, I'm open to a coalition with, with the NDP against the conservatives, then that kind of gives voters that are leaning NDP but may vote liberal a reason to just, to just go vote and vote NDP as opposed to voting liberal. So I do think this is if there's any election where you don't have to worry about the conservatives uh forming especially majority government um this is an election where you can actually vote who you want to vote for so go out vote for who you want and uh obviously do research on the candidates that that are in your riding see who you support most look at their platform look at um also look at the leadership of of all these of all these parties who you agree with most who you like all this stuff matters so don't be you know don't be worried about conservatives forming a majority government vote for who you want to vote for do your research and most important thing make sure you do go out and vote next week